Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur and we're gonna talk about email marketing right now, okay? And what sparked this video is I actually had someone reach out to me and they said, I've got a 3% open rate, how can I improve that? And I was like, 3%? Like, well, stop spending money right now because you are never gonna make money with a 3% open rate. Um, so we're gonna look at, at what goes into an open rate here in just this quick video. I'm not gonna give you all the details because email marketing is crazy, okay? There, are, as far as deliverability, there are just factors upon factors upon factors. But we're gonna give you three really simple things you can do and show you how to like test to see exactly what's happening. Uh, so the first thing you wanna think about is uh, what folder your emails are going to, right? Email marketing deliverability comes down to two things. Is the email actually showing up and are they actually clicking into it, okay? So deliverability comes down to a few things. One of the biggest problems that I find people facing is um, services like Google now, they put you know promotional emails in a promotional folder and no one goes and looks in their promotional folder because people get a lot of emails in there, right? And so the first thing you wanna do is actually see if you can get some of your emails to land in an inbox, which means that they're really gonna see it for sure. Um, and so there's a couple things we're gonna talk about. The first one is uh, links, okay? A lot of us love to put links in our email, links to our social media sites, link to our website, links to um, you know CTAs, that calls to action that we want them to take, uh, maybe links to some affiliate offers. And if you have too many links, or if your links are going to places that they shouldn't go, like spammy offers and things like that, then Google will not put your email in the in the main inbox, okay? That it. Uh, it just makes sense. If, if they see 15 links in there, it's a promotion. They're pretty sure it's a promotion, right? Especially if four of those links go to the same thing. They're like, okay, he wants them to click this link. So go easy on the links. Have a, you know, have one call to action and maybe put a link in there twice and you're good to go. You've got the link. Don't, don't push it so hard. Um, and the second thing you wanna look at is specific words, okay? You can Google a full list. Just Google list of keywords, list of spammy keywords for emails. Um, and there's, there's hundreds of them, but you've got to think about Google's got like an algorithm, right? And if that algorithm sees something like um, free Bitcoin sale, you know, something like that, it's like it's very easy for even a computer to identify that as a promotion or spam. So you want to be a lot more natural in the way you speak, the way you'd be sending an email to a friend or something like that and not so like um, salesy, you know, not just so like pushy and salesy and you'll find that the algorithms don't catch on to it as much. Um, and that's very specific in your subject line too. You don't want a subject line that's like, get your free Bitcoin, get your free blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not saying that you always don't want that, but for deliverability issues, uh, algorithms see that and they know that you're promoting something. It's fairly obvious, right? Um, and so now we're gonna go on to, let, let's say you manage to get your email, you know, you, you make this nice uh, email and you manage to make your way into that inbox. Uh, the next big thing is actually getting people to open it, right? They're getting 10, 20, 30 emails a day, and it's kind of hard to get them to open it. Oh, my goodness. I totally forgot to show you the tool that I'm showing you on the screen right now. Okay, the tool that I'm showing you on the screen is called uh, GlockApps.com. Super cool tool. If you, if you scroll down right here, you'll see for totally free on the website, they're going to give you an email address. You can just copy it, and then you can send the email directly to GlockApps. And what they'll do is they'll actually break it down for you and say, hey, you know, this is probably going to go in the promotion folder. Uh, it'll even give you some words like, hey, this is probably your big problem is like you're, you're talking about this or you're selling this. Um, and and you, you, can, uh, you can remove and edit and get down to where your emails actually, um, you know, will, uh, can get checked off by Glock apps and you have a much higher chance of going to the inbox. Sorry, I totally forgot. I got all excited and, and moved on. Anyway, so use that to check your, your deliverability. Where is your email going? And the next thing is the subject line, okay? Um, even if you get to the inbox, a lot of people will still struggle to get opened. And so we're going to talk about a few specific tips. I actually have an entire video on that. Hopefully it kind of shows up somewhere, like a related video in YouTube. I don't really know where it will show up. But um, your subject line needs to be good. And I, I found that comes down to like three things. The first thing is it doesn't make them curious, okay? Does it make them like wonder? Like have you ever seen those subject lines? It's like, what? What is he? What? And you click on it because it's just kind of, what? You know, it gets you, it, it gets you kind of confused and like, what are they talking? And you and you go in and, and just to see what they mean and what they're talking about. And, um, you know, so you could say, they could say something like, I'm going to freeze up now that I'm actually trying to think on the spot. But <laughs> there's a lot of things you could say to kind of like spark curiosity, you know, and, and get them to like wonder what is in that email. So you're not telling them right flat out, you know. Um, guess what happened when I did this? You know, a lot of people love that. Uh, see what happens when I do this. And people are like, what did happen? You know, and you do something crazy. And um, so curiosity is a big one. Urgency is another one. So you can make it really urgent. Like, hey, 
24 hours left until dot, 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 right? There's a curiosity and an urgency. Like 24 hours left until what? Oh my gosh, there's only a certain time frame. I better open this email because next email, it'll be too late. So curiosity and urgency. And the next one is personalization. Uh, just numbers, it's proven. If you can use an email autoresponder that will let you put their first name in the subject line, you're in a great place because people respond better to their name in a subject line. Like, hey, Spencer, check this out. I'm like, hey, that's me. And like, I just tend to open it more often. Okay, so that's subject line. You want a subject line, you want to use this, this test right here. And the third thing you want to look at is like deliverability. Like, is it even getting through their spam filters? Like to even get a chance at getting to their inbox or their promotion folder or anything. And deliverability is the crazy thing, okay? And there's a lot that goes into an email, but what you want to look at is, if you're really serious about that, getting what's called a dedicated SMTP provider, okay? So what happens is, let's say you're using ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Aweber, uh, and you're sending a lot of emails, right? Well, well, they're actually grouping you with a bunch of other people. You're in this like shared box, and when they send emails, you go, you send from the same uh, server as they are and and Google and things like that can identify that and if they're sending spam it will affect you because Google will say hey this server you know this SMTP it sends spam so we're not gonna let any emails through that could come from that and it's not your fault it's the other guy sending spam right but you're getting hammered for it and so if you can look into getting your own SMTP a lot of ones don't don't allow it um, two that are, are click funnels market hero um, but if you can get your own SMTP, then you can dramatically improve your email deliverability rates because you know it's all on you. If you send spam, I guess you'll hurt yourself. But if you're not spamming the crap out of people, then you'll help yourself, and you'll be able to get through these kind of blockers and things like that a lot easier. So three things again: you got to figure out what folder you're going into, you got to figure out what your subject line is lacking, and then deliverability. You know, are you even getting in through the the email blockers? Um, and those three things drastically can improve your your uh, your email open rates, okay? And so if you've liked what you've watched here, um, there's going to be a link down below. It's going to take me a week or two, but uh, totally free email marketing course. It's basically just a breakdown, much more in depth about all the things I talked about, how to write good emails, you know, how to um, use tagging and things like that to really succeed as an email marketer. So uh, go ahead and grab that link. It's totally free. You know, I love to give it away. Um, you just have to put in your email address so I can send it to you. And we can go from there. I also would love, love, love you to subscribe down below. So go ahead and do that. And uh, let's get started getting people reading your emails.